Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In the last episode, we cleared out Irithyll of the Boreal Valley, for the most part, and destroyed Pontiff Sullivan, who is an evil, evil son of a bitch. And in this episode, we're going to explore the area beyond, and if you've seen the title of the video, you know we're going somewhere very special. But before we get there, we have a couple things to take care of back here in Firelink. First off, Greyrot, how is your exploring? Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion night. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. He finds a whole bunch of goodies down there in the good old Irithyll, including great arrows, a bunch of different kinds of really cool arrows, fire, moonlight, all sorts of cool shit. It's pretty, it's, his, his inventory expands pretty heavily here. Goodbye, and stay safe. Bye, Grey Rat. And now let's wander over here and tell Yuria that we decided to not interrupt the little thing that we came across. Speak thy desire, honorable Lord of Hollows. Ah, greetings, our Lord and Liege. Good tidings. Thy spouse is ready. Hmm. The time is ripe to greet her. The girl awaits thee in the hidden dark moon chamber of Anor Londo. <gasps> so thou mayst a true monarch become. Anor Londo? Till we meet again. You mean the title of the video wasn't a ruse? Yep. I'm sorry if I actually managed to spoil anybody with the title of a video, but uh... There it is. I delayed it as long as I could, friends. Hopefully you got here before I did. <laughs> anyway, let's go uh, find that place. Actually, let's first burn that shard that we found next to Crichton's invasion. If you haven't noticed, I am wearing all of his armor and stuff. It looks really good. Okay, to the Pont of Sullivan bonfire. Okay, now let's head out and see what adventure we can find beyond the Pontiff. Um, I should note, I'm going to get invaded. It's, it's a fact of life. I'm embered. Invasions are imminent. This right here is actually the most uh, used PvP arena, I think, in this game. It's, like, got crazy mileage on it. Down here are two crystal lizards. I wish you luck getting both at the same time. I'm certainly not going to. It's because of these fountains, mostly, that you can't get them both. They get in the way. They would make it so it's hard to chase. But one down. I, if I wanted to, I could just go to the bonfire. And, uh, rest and get it again. Normally there's a lot of signs here, but I think my soul level combined with my terrible internet is making it so they aren't appearing. But, usually, you'll find just a field of people ready to fight you. Right here. It's usually really awesome looking, actually. It's very colorful with all the different sign colors. Okay, so let us continue our journey to the City of the Gods, apparently. Now this field's pretty dangerous. There's a whole, there's a few enemies up over there, and then up top you're going to be getting shot at with fireballs. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk forward and grab this item. Be wary of fireball sounds and try and get these guys' attention. Ow. <laughs> and then we'll run back and we'll fight them away from the casters. More deacons of the deep, it seems. More followers of Aldrich. So we must be on the right trail. Boop. Come on, buddy. Imbue your weapon with dark energy. Now, they kind of try to fight together, but they tend to just split up if you back up far enough. This guy right here. These guys are clearly from Drang Lake at one point, although in this, uh, yeah, there we go. There's some Aldrich Faithful invasions. This area is similar to the Watch Dogs of Faron, where you're just going to get invaded all the time. And here he comes. He's probably not going to be very nice. Oh, look at you, nice guy. He's going to wait and let me kill these guys because he's a bro. Maybe. Oh, look at him. He's cheering for me. See, this is what I do whenever I'm invading as Aldrich. I'm always... I try and be nice. If I invade somebody who actually is trying to play the game, you should be nice. Give him a little clap for his goodwill. Now, see... Let us begin. Ooh, a faith user. My weapon has lightning on it, too. Oh. Ow. 
little bit of perseverance. Keep his poise up. Ow! He's just swinging away. Okay, that's a pretty good little gimmick you got there. Nice that you're just using a freaking S-Dock. Let me grab these Dragon Twin Spears, buddy. Not even gonna heal. It's rude. Okay, well he is gonna abuse the shit out of that perseverance. So as long as we can do that, we're good. See you later, C. Bye. Okay, we just got invaded by another one. This is this is the life of uh, coming here. <laughs> Come on, Furs. Let's do it. You got a cool helmet there. I wonder who, where'd you get that from, huh? What weapon is that? Ah, you're looking to parry me, huh? I'll bait it. Yep. Oh, really? That should have been a backstab. Oh, it's the Irithyll Rapier. We'll find that soon enough. Uh, oh, I expected a parry. Look at you getting smart. Oh, I'm. S oh, 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 you blew it! You blew it! Hup! 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 I'm cornered! Hup! Hup! Okay, a little delay on that heavy attack. Oop! Crap, too much stamina used. Lucky I got out of range. Oh, wow! Look at that lunge! And now he's just gonna try and poke me for the final hit. That's annoying. God, I hate freaking straight swords in this game. F you, dude. Oh, come on! No. I don't have anything like that, do I? I don't. Oh, <laughs> it's a tie! Alright, so we're actually going to stay unembered in this area to avoid any more invasions. I know some of you like them, but for the people who are here for information, uh, no thank you. We'll go ahead and pick up um, all the stuff out there in a bit. First, we're going to clear the area and make it just a little bit safer to wander. Drop into this left side area, and we will deal with these invisible fellows once again. This should be our last encounter with them, so don't worry. We're just about done with their ilk. Run over here. Grab a dark stone plate ring in case you're having a hard time dealing with dark damage, which is never. I've never really felt the need to like min max and try really hard with putting on resistance rings and stuff like that. It's just never, never appealed to me. Alright, so we're gonna deal with a whole bunch of the blue variant of these guys in a bit, but first we've got a little items, a little item searching to complete. Got a large Titanite to ah! shard. And then run back. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. And let's enter, re enter the Pontiff's Arena from the second floor. Oh, walked right into it. Now, this is here for a very strange. I'm not really sure. But that's actually a little elevator that'll go back down into the arena. I guess if you want a shortcut, it's a kind of a shortcut. It's, very sh it's a very short shortcut, but it is. Around this corner, you'll find yourself a lizard that you can just miss if you want. Uh, <laughs> grab a simple gem from it, which is pretty cool. Simple weapons have a, a unique property where they very slowly um, regen your focus points. So I like to, on, on characters that use a weapon that has like a weapon art that only requires one focus point, which is most of them, uh, I just put it in my left hand, like on a shield or on my parrying weapon, whatever. It just gives you a constant flow of being able to use your weapon art. Alright, here is a chain pointed towards us. You know what to do. I hope, at this point. Let's deal with this guy. Come on, Mimic Man. Your ilk is in this game far too frequently. You know it to be true. There's simply too much of you in this game. Your novelty is worn thin, and so has your health. Ah! Don't you drop kick my head off? I know better. Drop the mimic and get the golden ritual spear. Uh, I'll probably say this once again before the playthrough's over, but you can throw undead hunter charms, aka Lloyd's talismans, at those just like in the old games to disarm them and make it so you don't have to uh, fight them. And every time you do it. 
it does have a chance to drop its helmet, the uh, symbol of avarice, where you can wear a giant mimic on your head that's always draining your health. So, if that appeals you, or if you're trying to just collect everything in the game, like, like a good little boy or girl, I'm not, I'm not sexist. Then, uh, yeah, do that. It's pretty awesome. It's a very funny-looking helmet. It gives you a crazy amount of item discovery, so it's really nice for farming items. And, uh, yeah, just another little thing. You can also just get it, if you're lucky, just from a random Mimic kill. I got, I think I got three in one playthrough, which, as far as I know, is quite uncommon. Seeing as I got zero on my first. Oop. We're just going to kill all of these guys. It's not really super necessary, but I want, just to, I want peace and quiet when I'm down there. I don't like fireballs being thrown at me all the time. God, they're so weak. You can just roll into them and they they go, "Ow, see? Ow." I guess if I guess if I were a person and somebody somersaulted into me, I'd probably have a similar reaction. So maybe I shouldn't be ju so judgmental. <laughs> All right. Now that we've taken them out. We can go down here. There isn't a huge amount of treasure to be found in this giant field, but there are two giants, so we got to watch out for that. Only two of them are actually uh awake or alive. You can just lock on if you want to find out which ones. They don't seem to like lightning very much, so that's nice. Oh boy. I let that happen. That was pretty bad. Alright, let's just go ahead and leave the uh, all of the fire sorcerers alive up there. I'm not really sure what their how their magic works, because in the world of Dark Souls, pyromancy and sorcery and faith are all three pretty different things. They seem to kind of meld together a little bit in this in this installment. Sorcerers uh, being powered by faith and so on and so forth. But I'm not sure quite how these guys work. It's not like I can get one of their staves and cast a fireball. They appear to be very powerful and special, these guys. Ow! God, it doesn't make it a pain to fight these giants. There's basically no reason to fight these giants. I should I should state. I'm doing it just for the sake of completion, but I'm about to die because I'm being artilleried by these air-striking sons of bitches. Ow! That was not the move I expected. Okay, let's just book. I just need to heal. These guys are being messed up. Where are you going, big guy? Wow. That was good timing. Oh, I didn't roll. Why didn't I roll? Why didn't I roll? You can't outrange everything just by walking, Ben. Oh, God. Spin around it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay. Excellent. They do always drop things, I believe. Just more uh, Titanite shards. Ooh, a stock dung pie. Dung pie. Dung pie. Interesting. It's just a special kind of dung pie that, you know, dangles. You actually throw it behind you instead of in front, which is pretty interesting. I like to go straight for that one's head because it tends to knock it over. It should also have put it into a, a repostable state. For some reason, it didn't that time. But that's the two giants out here. There's really no reason to fight them. I just do. You can run past all of this without any incident once you've killed the two uh, Drang, Drang male wearing fellows. The Drang twin spears are actually really cool. I need to start using some dual wielding weapons. So once again here, you could go up there, but naturally... There's an invisible wall, and this is probably the most difficult invisible wall you could possibly happen upon. There goes my cape, just freezing. Perfect. Down here is a giant water reservoir, and yeah, there's a Solvan Hound, or whatever they're called, but if you turn the corner here, you'll actually see there is two. Yeah, if you wander into the middle of this room, you're going to probably die. So, what I recommend is pulling this one towards you. And just fighting in this... Re it definitely limits where you can fight. But it also limits how many of them you have to fight at the same time. Namely, going one instead of two. Pretty uh, substantial difference there. Don't want to get hit by that one. That one would be a grab. I think these guys are actually pretty resistant to lightning because they use it themselves. So my weapon's not going to be super effective. Aim for the head, see if I can't stagger it. Ow. You got me. You tagged me. I'll admit it. Did I piss off the other one? Oh, I thought I heard a second set of footsteps. I was just about to cry. Hup. Hup. 
Oh, man. These things are aggressive, and I don't like fighting in this little corner at all. There we go. Let's go ahead and give it a little whoop. Kabang! These do not respawn, so once you kill one, you can come back after you lose to the second one, which you might. And there will be no no worries. And grab this item, the human dregs. Ugh. I wonder what that's for. Come on then, big boy. Hup. Get a quick little roll in. You can see a big blue figure in the corner. It's kind of interesting. Ha! Ow. Those charge attacks just have very long hitboxes that just land a lot of the time. So it's okay if you get hit. No one's going to blame you. Give it a quick little... Oh, shit! <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh, crap. I meant to fist it. Whatever. Get out of here. Okay. That was embarrassing, huh? For killing both of those, you actually get the Ring of Favor, which is an old favorite of a lot of people. It's pretty bad in this game. And a deep gem in this corner, and a bonfire. Hmm. Interesting. All the way down here? Why would there be a bonfire down here? Well, if you go wander over to Big Blue over here, you can find out. Would you like to join the Aldrich Faithful? Well, here's the place. Wearing this Covenant item will put you into a uh, queue, basically, and you'll just invade people that enter this domain at the bottom of the City of the Gods. And you will defend it. You will defend Aldrich, who is just an abomination. Oh. I will not be partaking in Aldrich Faithful activities right now. Instead, I'll be climbing the world's largest ladder and... Uh, yeah, then we'll continue. Okay, now back at the top of the ladder, we can take a left up these stairs and get into the real meat of this of this section for sure. This is the fun bit. This is the bit of... What does that sound? <sighs> this is the part of memories. Oh, memories. Sweet, sweet memories. Go ahead and drop down over here onto this little section and let us begin the ascent. Up the Anne Orlando Archers version 2.0. Not nearly as unforgiving as the previous ones, but still mean. Give this guy a thwap, and we'll fight him over here from this side. This is not an easy arena to deal with a Silver Knight for sure, but if you time your rolls well, or if you have a shield that you can parry with, which I don't because I'm an idiot, You'll, you should have no problem dispatching him, and then we'll make our way up and drop to the left, or right, I almost said left. Left will kill you, and grab the Easterner's Ashes. Uh, what Easterner do we know from the other Dark Souls games? Hmm. Make your way up here. And that's that's literally all of the Anorlando Archer's uh, reminiscence. Everything else is pretty uh, just standard fighting Silver Knights combat. We fought a couple of them in the little Anorlando memory room. Now let's finish up. A couple more. Grab the Titanite Shard from him. A couple of them. Thanks, buddy. Their capes do look rather swooshy and awesome in this in this uh, weather. Oh, he survived. Lucky you. I'll come for you later. Uh, oh, you want to go now? All right. I mean, up to you. Let's see if I can't get the right angle for this. Boop. <laughs> Drop him. And then we'll move around this corner and say hello to another one who's... Wow. Why do you have a bow back here, man? You seem like you're trying to ambush people, but you're using a bow? This seems strange. These guys actually stagger pretty easily, so go ahead and just swing away. Another Silver Knight armor. Nice. Can I get the other pieces, please? please? These guys will actually aggro two at a time if you're not careful, so I like to get this one's attention and fight him up here. Luckily their AI actually allows them to path this. Good job FromSoft. Thanks for making that possible for me. Smack him, smack him, smack him until he dies. Got the Titanite Shard. I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty impressed with the Dragon Slayer Axe's uh, damage overall. I didn't realize it would be uh, quite the powerhouse that it is. This guy actually has a spear rather than a shield. 
So he fi fighting him's a little bit different. Grab the Silver Knight Helm. We'll wander down this little path. Grab a large Titanite Shard. And let's open ourselves up a little shortcut, eh? It's not a super necessary one. But it's one that we'll use if we if we happen to trip and fall on our way up to the next bonfire. Open that up. And back up we go. Now from this position, rather than moving back up, let's just drop this way. And grab the Dragon Slayer Great Bow and some Dragon Slayer Arrows. Oh yes, baby. Yes. I love me some Great Bow. Now, let's use that shortcut we just opened, huh? Okay, back at the top of that little platform, we can head down into here and see a very familiar room. With where there would normally be a statue of Gwyn, as far as memory serves. But it's not here this time. Not since we've decided to go down a darker path. If we head down here, we can meet up with the pilgrim that we kicked in the face to talk to earlier. Welcome, our gracious lord. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. Please, take the sword of a vow. May you be the truest lord of Londor yet. You're given the sword of a vow. Y'all ready to get married? It's uh, not quite what you think. Your spouse? Okay, same thing as before. We wander this long hall, very familiar, where we once fought Gwendolyn. We grab the brass set from the Firekeeper of Anne Orlando. The memories, man, when I first came here, the memories were sweeping back into my head. Henri? Henri! Wake up! We're supposed to get married! Henri? Well, this will be an interesting ceremony. We have taken Henri's dark sigils by thrusting a sword into her face. Look, this is the darker path, okay? <laughs> no kidding. Over on the right of Gwyn's tome, tomb, whatever, you can find the reversal ring. Easily the most worthless thing in this entire game. Ugh, yikes, huh? Jeez. Let's wander our way back. At least it's not nearly as infinite of a hallway as it was before, huh? Although that was technically an illusion. It still felt quite long. Oh, goodbye, pilgrim friend. You can grab Chameleon off of its corpse. You could get Chameleon earlier just by killing it. But... Man, I guess we're married? Question mark? Huh. I'm not too sure what we are. Grab an ember from this body and... Oh boy, does that look familiar. The spinning elevator of Van Orlando is not quite where I left it, I don't think. But here it is. Make your way up the spiral steps. The long spiral steps. And at the top is a mechanism to turn it. Now, there is a secret this way. We'll be grabbing it a little bit later. 
first I always like to go to the very top and grab myself a shiny, shiny bonfire to keep things nice and fast and not having to backtrack too much. Spinny. It's a bit disorienting when you're moving while it's spinning. Get to the top. Yeah, we're back. Cathedral of Anor Londo. Last time we were here, we ended it with fighting Ornstein and Smo and meeting Guinevere. Something tells me, with all of this snow and all the things we've seen beforehand, that it won't quite be the same as it was before. So, let us move the elevator back down to its bottom position. Just for a brief little spell. And let's go meet another character. This one we won't be shoving a sword through the face of, so automatically they're probably going to be a little uh, longer lasting, I'd hope. Now this this is an interesting secret, to put it mildly. Uh, this is the only case of an invisible floor in Dark Souls 3. I actually found this myself just by throwing a prism stone off the edge and seeing if it hit anything, and there it was. So wander your way completely straight. This is no uh, crystal cove, cave, whatever. And drop down to grab yourself a bonfire. Hello. That's a very nice veil you have there. And very nice dragon tail you have there. Who else do we know with the dragon tail? Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knight. What beckoned thee to such a place? If you've gotten the Dark Moon loyalty gesture, would you get very easily from Cirrus near the very beginning of her quests? You should perform it here. Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this nightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Thou journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Art now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. You gain the blade of the dark moon covenant. Unfortunately, this covenant is nearly identical to the blue sentinels. The only difference is they have a small rivalry with the oh, Alders faithful. Good blade of the dark moon, welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. You offer the proof of the Concord kept here, you can get those from both of the covenants. Long ago, our father Gwyn, lamenting the waning of the fire, became cinder of his own will. Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. Such is the will of father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who link the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day, until the time of thy visit. Erdem taketh many forms, indeed. We are the only Dark Moon Knight remaining. May I pose thee a question? This tower this prison stands tall and solitary, the contraption bridging its lower reaches long unmoving. So, by what path didst thou here ascend? Uh... Art thou a creature of the air? Or other winged things? Look, uh, I can fly. Just, I can fly. Oh my. I imagined it might be so. Then thou art a dragon? Or perhaps a crow? Well, whatever thou beest, 
that wondrous strange, yet strangely familiar, visitor. <laughs> She's trapped up here in this tower. Felt like giving her a little bit of, you know, a little bit of imagination. Long ago, okay, so that's long that's the end of her ahead. lines. Off so soon. Yeah. May the dark moon watch over thee. Sorry, Orshka. She's been imprisoned up here by none other than Pontiff Sullivan. No surprise there. Do a quick circle, make sure there's no loot. And now we begin a quick little descent down into the church of Yorshka. Where we've been. Let's be careful with our drop. Shit! God damn it! I'll have to get that again just in a bit. Crap. Right here we grab the painting guardian set. Well, we passed as the painting guardian sword, so I'll make sure to go back up and get that. I want to take this step by step. I was a little too slow on my drop with the la with that one that I missed, hence why I slipped off. But after dropping all the way down all of these, and I mean all the way, we land in this little chamber, which I skipped on our first time here because there was no reason to be here. Welcome back to the Church, church of Yorshka. Now you know who Yorshka is, huh? I'm going to go get that sword, and then I'll meet you guys up at Anor Londo. Now, although scythes are no longer what they used to be, I decided to dress up in my old Dark Souls 1 walkthrough uh, gear, just for a little bit of nostalgia. Scythes are definitely not that good anymore, but they're pretty fun. So, we're going to deal with not one, but two Silver Knights on these staircase. So I recommend getting this one's attention quickly and then backing up. Wow, hitbox as much. That was cool. Now we're going to try and fight with this thing at optimal range because if they get too close and you hit them with the handle, you actually do less damage as you're seeing right there. Just another reason why these things are just no good. They get a little more distance. Oh, wow! <laughs> Alright, deal with that guy. Man, this thing's terrible. <laughs> Makes me sad. They really ruined... The sides are just ruined, unfortunately. It's the sweet spotting that's the issue. As interesting of a mechanic as it is, the damage you get at the sweet spot is not nearly enough to pay for the uh, the problems it causes. It's partially because I, I should have gemmed it in some way, so I might I might do that before we go facing the final boss with this thing. Final boss of the area, I should say. We're not done with the game. Just in case anybody was confused. Oh, boom. Okay, right click's actually really... Or the right click. Heavy attack's actually really fast. I should keep that in mind. That might be the way to go. Large soul of a weary warrior. What's the range on it as well? Okay. Yeah, it takes about as long as the the right tr uh, trigger. That's really interesting. Or the right bumper. Now right here we have what looks like an abyss corrupted silver knight. Oh, good. Great. I'm glad I got greedy with that. He's going to take a little bit longer to kill. Ow. Oh, double owl. Sorry, guys. Everything about the scythe is dead and gone to me. I was looking at the stats. Uh, I briefly went back to Firelink to check out, like, infusions and stuff. It's just a pile of garbage. There's nothing There's nothing else to say about it. It's just bad. Makes me... It really... It hurts me, because I really liked it back in the day. They just kind of crapped on scythes in Dark Souls 2, and they... I think they made them even worse. What a shame. But... That's what it is. No, no point dwelling on it. I'll still keep the painting armor set, or painting guardian armor set, because it's pretty cool. It actually looks very cool when it starts to get covered in ash as well. Kind of sooty in nature. There are no ugly, white, gargoyle-y demons to be found here this time. And I don't even think there's any treasure around any of these sides. Uh, apologies if I missed some on the uh, other side with the abyss or deep silver knight. Who knows? Hey, is the giant blacksmith still under? No, he's he's not working. He's not working here anymore. Hey, buddy. You can take his coal. We'll go give it back to Andre. Andre actually knew the giant, so I'm sure he'll have something to say about it. Ugh, what's this stuff on the ground? Kind of makes a squishy noise when you step on it. Navigating this place is rather easy, uh, if you've played Dark Souls 1, definitely. Although things have changed substantially, it looks a little bit more down in the dumps. Also, they fixed the window! Good for them. There's the fog gate. 
Oh boy, that is a familiar fog gate. I do hope it doesn't contain the same thing it once did. I don't need that kind of stress in my life. Now, if you come over here, we can explore the rest of Anor Orlando. Oh, wait. No, we can't. This is the extent of our Anor Orlando exploration, my friends. It's a short little area. I'm kind of glad they didn't overdo it. It's meant to be just a quick little visit. Now, we're going to quickly run over here before any trouble starts. Yeah, you heard some trouble. The Deep Accursed has dropped from the ceiling. That'll open the door and give us a little shortcut so we don't have to go around next time. Let's deal with this horrible Basilisk 2.0 creature. What the hell was that movement? I was... I did not know that was a move you had. That freaked me out. A couple of hits. Oh, holy crap! Guys, I'm sorry, the Painting Guardian set is dead. It doesn't absorb nearly enough damage. Dark Souls 1 is dead. It's a shame. Oh, wait, you can actually put Risen on the freaking Dragon Slayer's Axe? This thing is cool! Lightning damage and fire damage? Alright. Now we've opened this up. Let's deal with this jackass once again, if he ever decides to drop down. Come on! Takes him a bit. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh! Yeah, I feel like... Am I taking less damage, or am I crazy? Oh, jeez. Look at that. He's just trying to curse us. Well, the last one of these we killed gave us a ring, so hopefully we'll get something nice and rewarding like that again. I feel like if I left the Silver Knights, they should help me fight this guy, since he is kind of... He's an abomination upon in Orlando. Just wait till you guys get a, a little eyeful of Aldrich. It's certainly an interesting thing, especially for uh, a Dark Souls 1 player. I don't know how many people, uh, on average, are playing Dark Souls 3 without playing one of the older ones first. No, no, no. Bad monster. Be gone from this place. Grab the Aldrich's ruby. Now in here, there are slimes all over the ceiling and all over the ground here, so just watch your footing. Quickly grab this treasure chest. Everyone misses this. It has an Estus shard in it, for God's sake. I've been summoned here so many times, and I try and show people it, and they just ignore me and run for the boss gore. The boss gore. What's a boss gore? Who knows? Let's run up here and just deal with some of these guys really quick. Certainly better than the sentinels we used to have to deal with here. That's for damn sure. Oh, ow. Hey! Oh, killing floor, thanks! I really love notifications that I can't turn off in the corner. I could not figure... If it, does anybody know how to turn off those, like, group notifications? I couldn't find it. Grab a proof of a Concord kept. Uh, those things are like gold, because you never get summoned as a Blue Sentinel or as a Dark Moon Knight. So, getting those is kind of difficult. The Silver Knights actually have a, tw like a 1 in 25 chance of dropping one when you kill them. So that's where most people farm it, rather than actually trying to become a, a Dark Moon or a Blue Sentinel, just because it's so damn hard. No. Bad. Bad. Be gone! Foul creature. Oh, whoopsie. That was a kick. Okay. Sorry if I've been a little weird and sluggish this episode. I'm not sure why. I'm just trying to get back into the the, the way of things, I suppose. Hello. Tsukasa? Oh, I don't know why I would summon you here. Are you trying to trick people? <laughs> Alright, well, last time we passed through the store, we faced quite a challenge. What will we find this time, I wonder? Gwendolyn? With a Nido sword? And a worm body? Not quite. This is Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. What you're seeing is not Gwendolyn, but rather the top half of Gwendolyn, which is currently being eaten by the worm bit. Yeah, Aldrich is eating Gwendolyn currently and using his body, her body, whatever it wants to identify as, as a weapon, basically. And there's, there's also the theory that 
Uh, Aldrich also ate Nito, or at least Nito's corpse, because of that uh, Gravelord looking weapon that uh, Gwendolyn has. It's all pretty intense looking. But, if we get into the actual combat of this fight, I don't find this fight very difficult at all. There's a lot of spell dodging, and this arrow attack can be a bit of a pain. Not this, you'll, you'll see, there's a much worse version of the arrow attack coming up later. When these things come out, just move to the side or dodge. Basically, the best way to fight Gwendolyn is just bait his incredible... Or Gwendolyn, sorry. Aldrich is to bait these incredibly weak melee attacks. And once you've gotten into half health, the second phase begins. Most of Aldrich's attacks will change at this point. This doesn't, but the arrow attack certainly does. It now becomes a following AoE. The only real way to get away from this is to run away from it and take sharp... Ow! Take sharp turns as you escape. The sharp turns seem to screw up its tracking and keep it from following you. This annoys the crap out of me when Gwendolyn just... God damn, Aldrich just moves around and uh, uh, just drops those little things to follow you. Also, fire on the ground will constantly damage you while you're standing in it. So watch out for that. Gotta get away from that attack before he teleports away. In the second phase, that will also drop these little homing missile droplets. And more arrows. This is where the annoyance of the fight comes in, if he just ends up casting the arrows a whole bunch of times. I'm sorry I keep calling him Gwendolyn, by the way. I'm screwing that up. It's definitely Aldrich eating Gwendolyn. Yeah. See how the arrows kind of get lost at a certain point? Strange. It's strange to me. You can just sidestep these, mostly. And then once you're in range, get a melee swing to happen, and then fire away. Now there is one ability he, uh, he hasn't used yet, which involves the Life Hunt Scythe Miracle. And the Life Hunt Scythe was also the weapon of Priscilla. So you might also be able to think that, hey, maybe Aldrich also ate Priscilla. Is Aldrich the worst to you yet? I think he's by far like the most evil creature in all of the Souls universe. His only purpose is to eat people and eventually gods. It's just disgusting. And he ate so much he turned into a blob of just disgustingness. He's all over Anne Orlando. That goo on the floor is Aldrich. Or at least Aldrich's, like, pus residue. Like a slug. There's the life on sight. That move is actually pretty hard to dodge. You have to be very precise. And if you do get hit by it, Aldrich actually heals for some health. So you need to watch out for that. Aldrich is changing position. Let's go ahead and get in there. Here comes the arrows. We're just going to finish him off before that happens. Although we do have to dodge it still. Ow. Holy crap, dude. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> really? Hmm. I thought it might be you. Then I'm afraid Horace. No, this only bolsters my resolve. Please, lend me your strength. Help me vanquish all this. I owe this to you. Thank you, truly. Horace, we've done it. We really have. Well met. Knowst thou the name Anri of Astora? The brave lad left this as thanks. Though gave no elucidation, so happened upon any twisted souls? Now, heed this little warning from this little lord. Seek not the boy. She knoweth her fate, what will become of her upon her duty's end. She would not wish thee follow her.
retrieve my damn souls. God. That's just the worst. Now, I'm gonna actually light this bonfire. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Guinevere. Hello, empty space where Gwendolyn used to be. Possibly Gwendolyn, or maybe, uh, Gwen's firstborn, who is as of yet unnamed. <coughs> unnamed. Nameless, even. Alright, let's go ahead and take this elevator right here. This was Ornstein's elevator. You can tell because it's tinier. When we get to the top... Oh, so many memories up here, huh? So familiar. This, These uh, little drapes from the ceiling, actually, I really like how they look in the arena. Even though they clip through the wall, like, 90% of the time. Still beautiful looking. There's no uh, armor of favor over there this time. But if we come up here... I'm sorry, guys. No chest ahead. No chest ahead, indeed. We grab the Sun Princess Ring and get sad. Uh, there is an event that happens in here if you are headed down the Leonhard and Rosaria's Finger um, quest line. But we are not as of yet. We'll be doing that near the end of the game. So let's drop onto this elevator and descend back down here. And that is An Orlando, my friends. In the next episode, we're going to be going to the Irithil Dungeon. But before we do any of that, and before I leave, there is but one more thing to take care of. From the cliff underside bonfire in the in the undead settlement, we can get here the quickest, make our way up these stairs, back to where we once fought the curse rotted Greatwood. In this room, we'll find a white summon sign, the sign of Cirrus, asking for cooperation. I wonder what she needs us for this time. Hodrick? I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandad. Remember? Ah, and so we find a little relation between these two. Holy crap, I need to help her out. Jesus. Heal, please. I can't keep you protected. God damn. What are you doing? You need to get healed. Go ahead, use Power Within. I'm not worried about it. It'll just kill you slowly while I just hang out. Just attack me, please. I need to tank for our friend here. Your granddaughter, I guess. Well, looks like he won't be healing at all. Goodbye, Holy Knight Hodrick. Cirrus, it appears that your mission, which we didn't know about, night, is complete. Granddad. And so we return to our world. We'll find her next at Firelink Shrine. However, before we do so, we can jump down into the Pit of Hollows and find a new item where Hodrick once was. You know, after we cru crushed him with the tree, we can find his set, the Sunset Armor. Hello, Sirius. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Of course. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. I'm not skipping Blessing that. Of the moon upon your journey. That was uh, that was the game making those words not happen. <laughs> if I may ever be of assistance, I am your knight forever and true. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Wasn't me. She just misses words, I guess. She says them in her head, and I can read them, but uh. They don't appear. So, I actually picked up the Cinders of a Lord and Aldrich's Soul, you know, right uh, right before I died horribly to some arrows that were flying around everywhere. So let's go ahead and place Aldrich's Cinders here. This malformed, disgusting skull. Ugh. I, I'm like genuinely disgusted and hateful of Aldrich. I have a, I have like a serious problem with, um, with anything that eats people, usually alive or whole. 
as much as I enjoyed the uh, anime attack on Titan, it did freak me the hell out. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, let's look at the things that we have here. There's a whole bunch of stuff, huh? Life on Scythe, all this. I don't know why I'm wasting any time. Not with this courtesy. She is much like thee. Prisoners both kept to link the fire. I see. Well, there is one more thing to grab if we go outside. After clearing this all up with Cirrus. At a grave out here somewhere. It's out here somewhere, don't worry. I just always forget which one it is. Hey, buddy. Uh, this is Sparta. Again. We can grab the Sunset Shield. Another piece of Hodrick. Who clearly went mad. Now that'll end it up for Anne Orlando. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll do other things. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I will see you next time. I'm done with you people.